Hi, I'm the Morlander and this is Morlander EDC. Now I have only owned the Helicon Tex Claymo bag for just over 24 hours and I know already that this is going to be my go-to EDC bag for just pretty much everything. Um, if you're wondering why you are going to want to buy this, let's have a look. Okay, so here we have the Helicantex Claymore bag. Now, Claymore bags have been around a lot and these have been used since the, the late 50s, early 60s and onwards uh, by US troops. They're very cool, one, because originally it would have carried a Claymore, which in itself is freaking cool. Uh, but two, they realized quite quickly that once these were used, that they could reuse them for carrying other items in here. Um, this has stuck in, a, in, a, in an essence to the, sim, to a, to the original design, um, but you will see that this is, it, it's more of a, it, it's more it mainly been inspired by those. Uh, constructions wise this is made from 500d Cordura um, it is a four and a half liter pack which I think for these style packs really has that Goldilocks factor you know it's not too big it's not too small it is just right it's nice and light as well uh, and it's 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 split up again into the different sections which again uh, takes that inspiration from the uh, from the original ones as far as the colors are concerned there's I mean there's a lot there's probably seven or eight. I'll, I'll put here exactly how many colours. Um, but this is the uh, this is the Desert Night Camo DNC, which is freaking awesome. Uh, so you'll probably see more of this camo um, on my channel because yeah, I really like it. Um, so yeah, so what we'll do, we'll start on the front here, we'll go around the outside and then we'll have a look. So on the front you have a, uh, a Haverstack style uh, front or lid on this. So rather this, than this being a satchel, which mainly is a, is a, is a, top, a top opener, this is more of a traditional Haversack style opening. Um, but again, you know, there's, there's different sections to this. So on the front uh, you have, uh, you have the, main, uh, the main kind of cover. There's a little bit of this Teflon material on either sides should you want to uh, attach anything there uh, and then in front of that you then have a morale patch section with the Helicantex logo on it which is pretty cool underneath the flaps so the original um, the original uh, Claymore bags had press studs but it, it meant that if you overfilled it you couldn't you couldn't keep it closed so what they've done is they've updated this so you still have a press stud which again you know it takes inspiration from the originals but you now have two so you can move it up or if you don't want to use the press studs there's hook and loop on both sides so this can be completely lifted up and off here and if you're not using it it will stop the wind uh, from blowing these from blowing these open but you can lift it up pull it open you've got this really nice lining there's a lot of lining in this I like the attention to the detail that they have done um, so originally in the front here you'll have had a claymore and then all of your wires and all of the different bits that you would have needed to set it up so you still have your two little pockets here in the front in this one I've put in some gloves now I will say that Helicon Techs are really pioneering the, the tactical teddy bear compliance. So I can confirm that this is yet another one of Helicon Techs' products that is definitely tactical teddy bear compliant. Now on the inside here, so you have these, you have a bungee on it. So if you wanted to open these out, you can do. And hopefully you'll be able to see that they do have quite large openings. Now I'll leave a photo here and you can see that you can fit a, uh, a one litre Nalgene bottle into here with absolutely no issues whatsoever. And you can still close it with enough room for the Velcro to be able to close over the top. What you've probably already noticed in here are some, uh, some AR-15 M4 style magazines because on the inside of each of these you have dedicated pockets for, uh, for magazines in there. So if you're wanting to use this, maybe grab it so that you can go to the range with it, maybe, or maybe you're out doing some hunting, then you can take, I mean, you can take plenty of ammunition for you if you're wanting to use this for hunting. I don't 
like to use the kind of active shooter kind of thing, but if you wanted to have this as a grab bag or a get out of shit kind of bag, then you can put four magazines, two in each pocket here. Now, I'm going to take three of these out because we will come back to those in a second. But yes, really large pockets, two of those that go all the way across the front. Fold it back over, you can either press stud that back down again, or you can just use the hook and loop. Onto the sides, on the sides here, on this side, which is identical to the other side, you'll be able to see there hopefully, uh, you have some, uh, some loops on here which is made with the webbing that is the same webbing for the strap. And then also on the bottom you have some additional lashing points which is made from the same webbing as well. On the back, just in case you wanted some more webbing, you've got some daisy chaining here, which is great for pass-throughs. So if you're using this for hunting or you're just using this maybe um, for uh, some bush crafting, you can put a knife, you can put an axe, um, pretty much whatever you want through here. Uh, you'll hopefully be able to see it so I can fit four fingers in there without any issues whatsoever. Now getting back to those magazines, There are also four magazine slots here on the back as well and each of one of these has a grommet on the bottom so should there be any dust or debris or anything that's got into there you can give it a bit of a shake or you've got it wet and it will come out. I think that they've put those on there mainly because the one on the front does have this rain hood cover whereas these are open at the back so it will allow any uh, water to get out. But again, if you wanted to use this as a grab and go bag, you could have, um, well, you could put all your gloves, you could put your tactical teddy bear back in the front, you could have your water in here as well, um, but then have the option to have your three magazines at the back again, which again is pretty cool. On the top, nice big grab handle. I can fit my hand, I mean, you know it's pretty big you certainly don't have any worries it's on the slim side but it's only a four and a half litre bag so I don't think you're really going to be worrying about carrying 30 or 40 kilos in here the strap itself is made from quite a light um, webbing I'm sure the I'm guessing there probably are different deniers of webbing. Um, it's still the tough webbing that you get from um, from Helicon Tex. It's just a little bit lighter, and I think that what that means is it just sits, it moulds itself to your shoulders. Um, but yeah, it's nice. Wujin buckles, all of the plastics on here, which is just the two. Uh, these are Wujin buckles. As far as your zippers as well, these are YKK zippers, which are. Yeah, I mean, they're great as well. So this is your main section. You have your two pouches on the front uh, with, with, that, with, the, with the pull there, but then you've also got double zip, so ambi open, so whether you're a lefty or a righty, you can have this on either side, and then you can then get into another section on the inside here. So what I ha I've got is I've got a hat that I generally tend to wear a lot. On the inside here, actually, oh, so this is my this is my little 3D camera. This is the this is the selfie stick for it. And then if I open this out, hopefully you'll be able to see in here as well that there are another four additional pockets: two on the front and two on the back. Now, in this front pocket, I put additional pouch in here. So this is the what is this? This is the this is the alpaca admin pouch. It's a reasonably you know, substantial pouch, and it's still able to fit into any of these. Um, I have tried, I have an A5 notepad, notebook, that I use at work, um, and I tested it, and it does fit in there perfectly. But there's plenty of room in here. As I mentioned, you know, we've got some nice lining. All of the seams, all of the seams have additional, um, additional um, reinforcements on here. On the front, now I'm calling this the front mainly because this is where, where, the, uh, where the, the front bit lifts up. So on the front on the inside, you then also have two points here that you can tie things to. On the back, there's just the one. I don't know if they've done that specifically for a reason, just the one on there. Um, but I guess because you've got a zip on this side, you probably grab that rather than the zip. But then also on the back here, you also have another zipped off compartment. So you can zip this open and then there you've got 
more room in there too. Now I've got to say for such a small pack it really does a lot. If you want to fill it up and go for a walk you can do. If you don't want to fill it and just go for a walk so that you've got something with you should you need it. When it's near as damn empty it just hugs your body you can walk along with it absolutely no issues whatsoever when it is full and you're having to carry around a little bit more same again it just it just works and it works on so many levels i've only had this 24 hours and i'm incredibly impressed with this so yes i think as far as edc packs go i think this is a great addition well whether you've got lots of others or really if you're just looking for an excuse to buy a new one then I highly recommend this um, as I mentioned I saw this two years ago at IWA I was gutted it didn't come out last year but if it took just some extra little bit more incubation time to really work on some features and maybe add some to add, I don't know whatever, whatever finessing that they've done Helicon Techs have crafted yet again another bag here so just get one <laughs> they're not particularly expensive either. Um, how much are they? I think they're about. I think they're about 50 euros. I do need to double check. I'll, I'll put. I'll put the price here. I think they're around about 40, 50 euros. Um, yes, very inexpensive, and I think it's a pack that will last a long time as well. Um, so if you're in Europe, I'll leave some links below. Uh, you guys don't have to pay as much as we do to get stuff. It's about 21 euros to have stuff posted uh, to the UK. Um, the good people at Military First have supported the channel a lot and although they haven't sent this to me I'd always give a shout out to those guys they are absolutely amazing team there I don't think they stock these yet but make sure you keep looking because they're just they're just great team so I think here in the UK they I, I always like to help to promote those guys um, and yes so I'll leave all of the links below and I'll leave some of my social media links below as well, but for now, as always, stay safe, stay Moorlander, and stay EDC. How many versions I'm going to have to do of this? It's raining. Lots of little showers. <coughs> Horrible cold. My daughter Neve brought one home for me. I really appreciate how much children like to, like to share, don't you? Please don't rain. Let's get it done. <clears throat> Hi, I'm the Morlander and this is Morlander EDC. Now I have only owned the Helicon Tex Claymore bag. Helicon Tex Claymore bag. <sighs> oh. <sighs> they call children fun sponge well, I call my children fun sponges, but I think I should start calling them petri dishes. Have I got that sexy, hi, I'm the, M hello, hello, I'm the Moorlander. Not really, but, hey ho. We are dancing in between a lot of the showers today. Beautiful, look how green this, look how green. Look at it, this is one of my, I, I mean I film here a lot, I can film for different angles and it looks completely different. It's great. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I hope you are well. I hope you're all having a lovely Sunday. I filmed this because I bought, I think, I bought, when did I buy this? I bought this on Monday and it got here fast enough. And I put on uh, the community thing that I'd picked up one and there seemed to be that so so much interest that I thought, okay, let's, let's bump it up. Um, yeah, I've had it less than 24 hours. Um, and yeah, I love it. So there you go. Cool. Uh, See you in a bit. Have a good Sunday. Bye.